Hey everyone, today I'm going to go over themes and global style sheets in Cloud Craze. So the first thing we're going to do is go to CC Admin and we're going to pick our store. I'm going to pick Store 4. We go to Themes and we see the Store 4 theme is selected right here. We're going to hit the button View and we're going to hit View File and we're going to save it. Now I'm going to go here and I'm going to do extract here. And the folder that we care about is called CSS3. So I'm going to open this in Notepad++. And in order to see if a theme is working, I like to do an extreme change. So I'm going to do background color red, font size. 40 point. I'm going to hit save. And we're going to go back here. We're going to do send to compressed. I'm going to call this store for new. Now the important piece to notice is when you're zipping these files up, don't go a directory up. Just select all of these besides maybe the Mac OS and then just send to compressed and make your zip file that way. Now if we want to change it, hit the edit button. And do store for new. And hit the save button. Alright, so now we're going to view our page. So I'm just going to duplicate that tab go to contacts, go to Fran4, log into community as user, and we should see a red background. And there we go, so we have our 40 point font. So we have the background color as red, which we changed in the body, and then the font size of 40 point. So we know that our global style sheet and theme is working. And then we can actually make better styles instead of this. This is just a good idea if you're trying to see if your theme's working or not. Um, the next thing I want to show is if you want to change store 4 theme into store 5, what you do is you just hit enable and go to global settings. Configure cache management and build new. If you're changing styles like that, it won't happen automatically. You're just going to have to build an entire new website. Alright, so what we do is we activate this one and then deactivate the other one. We're going to go back to our store and it should look completely different. I like to do control shift R to do a hard refresh on the page. And there we go, now we have store file theme. 